Numerical Computation, Chapter 11, Video 4. In this video, we take a look at a Poisson equation on the unit square with the Dirichlet boundary condition. So Poisson equation differs from Laplace equation in one aspect, that is, um, Poisson's equation has a right-hand side, which is some function of x and y, and which is given. And the left-hand side here is just the Laplace operator. And we um, assign the same Dirichlet boundary condition as the previous example we had. That is, the function value is given on all four sides. And here is hx, here is fy, here is gx, here is my. That's the same as the previous um, video. So if we set up finite difference discretization, and the left-hand side here becomes the same as the Laplace equation. The only difference now is now the right-hand side is not zero. It is um, phi evaluated at xi and yj. And we use this notation phi ij. It's a shorthand. Okay, so this is given. Now multiply both sides by h squared and combine these two terms together. We see that the left-hand side is the same as the discrete Laplace operator, but the right-hand side is not zero anymore. It's h squared times this phi ij, which is the source term in the Poisson equation. So we notice that um, since the left-hand side is unchanged, then the coefficient matrix A would not change. And the term here, the source term here, will only enter the load vector, the B vector. So we just need to take care of the B vector. Say, for example, n equals to 4. Um, your B vector will just contain one more term, which has this phi ij times h square in it. So you have to put the phi ij in the corresponding position. So you sweep through x with y fixed as 1 and then in, increase y to 2 and sweep through x and increase y to 3 and sweep through x. Okay, And all these here, these terms are coming from the boundary condition and they are the same as the one we did for the Laplace equation. Okay, so hope um, that was clear and was useful and see you next time.